Hello, hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Um, I'll go over what the preseason's about in a second, but if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. I make videos for NFL, NBA. Um, I also do niche sports. I, I would consider preseason as a niche sport. I'm very successful with niche sports, stuff like this. A lot of stuff that has research, a lot of stuff the population doesn't know about. Having more time than others, etc., stuff like that. So I believe I gain an edge that way. But yeah, I've um, been playing professional DFS for a while now. A lot of you already know me, but um, for those of you who do not know me, i um, been pretty much full-time DFS for a while now. Um, I think the Hall of Fame game has a pretty decent edge. I will go over it in a second. But if you are interested in in-depth content, stuff like that, I give you player pools for cash and tournaments, cores for cash and tournaments, private videos, um, I'll probably be posting all depth charts, um, every piece of news, anything I find, player counts, anything, absolutely everything you can find. It'll all be in my Discord. A link to that will be below, um, down below. And like I said, we've been very, very successful with niche sports, stuff like this. XFL, Summer League, um, it's a whole bunch of stuff that requires a lot of research that the population doesn't have a lot of time to do, and I definitely do give you that, so, um... That's a little um, introduction to me. Like I said, Discord link will be down below. And if you ever need to get a hold of me privately, um, you can do so on Twitter. My Twitter is at Tori Langley 192 or Shook Go. And then all of these videos, they get posted on this subreddit right here. Um, and you can ask me questions about the slate. I'll, I'll reply to you and stuff like that. Anything you need to know, I'll always reply to you. Um, if anything changes with the slate, I'll make updates on the posts and stuff like that. Not like any of these other people that just give you a video and hang you out to dry. Um, anything you need, it will be on this subreddit. It is called, like I said again, DF Sports. Like I said, I make updates with all of the news, absolutely everything. So, um, let's go over what, um, precinct's all about. So, one thing to keep a note of is I would rather play players that are less talented than talented guys that are going to get less playing time. It's all about, same thing with NBA, it's all about minutes equal money. Kind of the same principle here with the preseason. It's playing time equals money. Like I said, I'd rather play guys that are going to get more playing time over better players that are going to get less playing time. And a lot of it is, you have to understand who's going to be playing with who, etc. and stuff like that. Who's going to get work. A lot of research, a lot of stuff goes into it. Um, but that's what I am here for. And then, like I said, all updated stuff, cores, player pools, videos, depth charts, whole bunch of shit. That'll be in my Discord down below. So, let's get into this video. And I think what we'll do is we'll go over the least appealing team first. And that is going to be the New York Jets. So, we already know Aaron Rodgers isn't going to be playing. Um, we know, where is, uh, how do we, do, do position. Okay, so we know Aaron Rodgers isn't going to be playing. We know Boyle, Wilson, and Trevor are going to be playing. Um, we know Wilson's going to be starting the game. I don't expect him to play a ton, so he's more of just a contrarian option for me. Uh, we'll see. I haven't looked at projections yet, but um, everything I have gathered is he won't be playing a ton. Um, he does not have rushing upside, so he doesn't give you that floor as well. And the limited playing time, that which I expect, makes him just a contrarian option for me. So I'm not in love with Zach Wilson. Um, you could definitely get there in GPPs, but I think it's okay. Um, the guys that um, I want to be going to here is mainly going to be Straveler. I mean, Boyle's okay kind of in that contrarian play range with Zach Wilson for me. It doesn't offer a ton of upside either. Just more of a tournament play for me. But if I were to go to any of these quarterbacks on the New York Jets, that is going to be Straveler. Um, he actually does have some rushing upside. Um, I expect him to get a decent chunk of work. Now, we'll talk about the quarterbacks on the other side of this game that are more shorthanded that I like a bit more, but... Um, if he's going to be lower owned than the other quarterbacks, I think he's a really good tournament play, which I, I expect he'll be lower owned than the other quarterbacks, but he'll probably play a bit less than the other quarterbacks on the um, Cleveland side of things. So I definitely do have a ton of interest in Traveler, especially if he's going to be lower owned than the other quarterbacks on the Brown side, rushing upside, uh, you know, 
like I said, um, not the most talented, but um, with that rushing four, with the amount of work I think we'll get, I think we'll get um, a decent chunk, and um, I think we'll be a bit lower owned than the Brown side of things. So I definitely have a ton of interest in Straveler, uh, in Straveler four tournaments. Now, the safest plays on the slate are going to be the defenses and the kickers. So they only have one kicker on each team, Greg Zerline, and then the Jets D. The good thing about the Jets D is they are going to be on the field the entire game, right? Opportunity. It's all about opportunity. The Jets defense, they're going to be on the they're going to be on the field the entire game. Um, it's going to be a low scoring game. That's typically how it goes in the preseason. Don't have to worry about price either. Everyone is the same price. So um, Definitely one of the better plays in the slate are going to be the defenses and the kickers. So I like both the defense. I like both the kicker. Um, very good plays in my opinion. So don't need to spend too much time there. I, I think it's pretty straightforward. Now let's go over to running back. So Jets have seven running backs on their depth chart. Hall isn't going to be playing. Um, we do have... Um, Um, excuse me, sorry. I'm getting notifications. We do have Carter and Knight behind Hall on the depth chart. I don't think they play much, so they're more just kind of sprinkles for me. Um, the really guy that I want to look here for is going, I don't know how to say his name, Abaniganda. Um, he's looked really, really, really good in preseason. He also is a pass, ca uh, pass catching back. Um, if I were to go to any of these Jets running backs, it would be him. I think he is okay to solid. Um, outside of that, there isn't much that stands out. I believe Bowden's a fullback. I don't think Cole get a ton of run. Um, who else do they have? Crockett and Die. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident they will get some run, but they're more just contrarian options. I'd rather just go to um, Abinaconda. Someone tell me if I'm saying that correctly. Um, I expect Crockett and Die probably to get more of that like second half, fourth quarter work. And they're going to, Abacon, I can't say his name. Abinaconda is definitely going to be the most popular of these Jets running backs. So if you want to go to like a Crockett or a Die, I think that's something you could do. Um, they would definitely be getting run. And I expect that run to be more so in the second half. Um, who is up next? We got tight ends next. There isn't much um, on either team for tight end. If there was one guy that I would go to, it would be Cunt. Um, per beat per beat writers, he is actually going to get a ton, a ton um, of volume. Not volume, but work in this game. I just don't know the volume that's going to be for him. But um, if he's out on the field a lot, um, tight ends are generally very, very bad in preseason. But, I mean, he'll probably be super, super, super low-owned. Probably be on the field a lot. If you want to go there, I think that's okay. But I'll probably not go there. Just large field tournament sprinkles, in my opinion. And then we get to wide receiver. Jets have a ton of wide receiver here. Wide receivers here. Um, obviously, Wilson, Lazard, they aren't going to be playing. I don't think Cobb's going to be playing. I don't think. Uh, don't think Davis is going to be playing. I don't think Hardman's going to be playing. So that kind of leaves guys that stand out to me are going to be, um, where is he? Brownlee. Um, and um, Erickson. Where's Erickson? Erickson right here. So Brownie and Erickson are probably the two Jets wide receivers that I would take a shot on. Um, Brownie has been very good in camp. Um, he's probably my favorite of this group um, outside of like, um, outside of the two I mentioned, Brownie, Erickson. Brownie definitely going to be my favorite option of the two. Um, I don't think they'll project the best, but they're fine for me. Um, they're fair to fine to okay. They, they're the guys that I would take shots on if I were going to take shots on a New York Jets running back. Or wide receiver, sorry. All right, now we get to the Cleveland Browns. Let me take a sip of water before we get into this. So same thing I said about the Jets. Um, the kicker and the defenses are going to be two of the better plays in the slate. They're going to project the um, up, up there as the best on the slate. Now, I think 
the quarterbacks here on Cleveland are going to project as the two best plays on the slate, but really good plays. York, Browns, the very, very good. Now let's go over the Browns. So Watson, Dobbs, they aren't going to be playing. Mond's going to start the game. He's going to go until the first half is over, and then you're going to have DTR play the um, second half, um, according to Beat. Now, if that's the case, Dobbs, um, excuse me, sorry, um, uh, Mond and DTR, they do have rushing upside, so they provide that nice floor. If I had to pick one, if they are both going to get a half, I would prefer DTR to Mond, but I think they're both very good plays. Assuming they both get a half, they're both going to project very, very well. Um, I think I have them for around 9 to 10 fantasy points right now. And if you get that on a preseason slate, you're doing very, very well. So DTR, Mond, I think look like two really good plays. Assuming they both get each a half, they both have rushing upside. They provide that floor. So like both the quarterbacks quite a bit here for the Browns. Um, and then we go on to running back. All right, Chubb's not going to play. Ford returned to practice. Assuming he plays, we'll see. Um, Kelly was the RB2 with Ford out, so he should be behind Ford. And then we have Hall, um, who I expect to play in this game. So um, if I had to think who would get the most work here, it's going to be Ford. Probably my favorite um, running back on Cleveland. Solid. And then we have um, Kelly, who is obviously uh, running as the RB2 when Ford's out. Um, I believe he is a pass catching back as well. Um, not entirely sure there. Pretty sure he is. Um, and what's good in preseason is a lot of times these quarterbacks aren't too talented, so they do throw a lot of dump offs, right? Um, but if I were to take shots on any of these running backs, it would be Ford, definitely my favorite, and then um, it would be Kelly. If you want the Giga Brain Chad GPP play, it would be Hall. Um, but I prefer um, Ford and Kelly over Hall. There's nothing for tight end for me, and Joku's not going to play. Um, or if he does play, he's not going to be playing much, if at all. And then here's where wide receiver gets very, very interesting. So, a lot of injuries. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of injuries. So, all right. Cooper's been dealing with an injury. He's not expected to play. Donovan Peoples-Jones not expected to play. If he does, if not much at all. Goodwin placed on a disabled list. Um... Who else? Grant's been um, sitting out every practice. I don't think he plays. Uh, every other practice. Uh, Darden hasn't practiced since the 30th. We'll see if he plays. Don't think so. Woods is out. Moore isn't expected to play much if he does, if at all. So, um, yeah, a lot of stuff to keep an eye on here. So, Tillman. Cedric Tillman. If you are going to play DTR, Cedric Tillman has been running a lot of reps with DTR, so that's an interesting stacking option there. I think he's going to be one of the more popular wide receiver plays, so I really like Tillman as a wide receiver play, and I really like Schwartz as a wide receiver play as well. Um, Schwartz, um, per beat reporters, um, where is he? Um, let me pull it up. Um, he is back, and all indications are that he is going to get a ton of work in the full Hall of Fame game. Now, if he plays in the first half, second half, I'm not entirely sure, but um, it seems like he is going to be getting a ton of work. So, Schwartz um, and um, Schwartz and Cedric, definitely going to be my favorite um, wide receiver options from Cleveland. I expect both to get a decent amount of, um, of ownership here. Um, so, I do like Cedric. I do like Schwartz. Um, I definitely do like them over the Jets wide receivers as well. So um, I think that's going to be the breakdown. Um, like I said, I'll have more in-depth breakdowns in my Discord. I hope this video helped you guys out. I'm super, super excited that NFL is back. We are back, and uh, I will talk to you guys in the coming days on Reddit and in Discord. Um, love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later.